अलकम बिस्मिलीम इट इज़ द एलेवेंथ डे ऑफ रमादान एंड वी आर इन द सेकेंड टेन डेज साइकिल ऑफ दिस मंथ एंड वी होप दैट वी आर इन्जॉइंग दिस मंथ इवन दो what is happening around us is quite challenging but those who do not have the opportunity to go for the prayers in congregation in masjid and islamic centers are still offering those prayers at home listening to the quran and reflecting on its message because the prayers are still going on in that house that we call the baitullah or kaaba as we would just find out that the one who along with his father is responsible for rebuilding it is none other than ismail alayhi salatu wasalam in the chronology of the prophet he is uh, the eighth one and there are some 12 verses in the quran and that talk about ismail alayhi salatu wasalam he like isa alayhi salatu wasalam is one of those uh, prophets who were raised by their mothers only in their early childhood Isa alayhi salatu wasalam didn't have father and Ismail alayhi salatu wasalam's father had left him when he was still an infant because this was the will of God so who he grew up under the tender and kind nurturing of his mother Hajar and became an independent and a strong person and from him the progeny emerges that ends with the, the last and final messenger of Allah Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and of course the progeny of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam which traces it roots to ismail alayhi salatu wasalam and ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam continued and continues ismail alayhi salatu wasalam stories tells us that mothers play a significant role in the upbringing and raising of children It tells us that uh, if they are properly educated and properly guided and properly trained then they become responsible and they act in a responsible manner even though ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam did not stay with the ismail alayhi salatu wasalam for long and for almost 8 years he was absent from his life it when he returns and he shares his dream about sacrificing the most dearest thing Ismail alayhi salatu wasalam without any hesitation and without questioning his intention without saying that where were you for the last 8 years and now when you have this kind of dream you are coming back to me and asking me to do these kind of things he agreed to what was being proposed willingly and happily obviously that was a trial from god almighty and then together with his mother he built a community on whose foundation of course the future communities of mecca and future communities of that particular area of the arabian peninsula developed one of the important thing is that when ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam left mother hajra and son ismail 
he made a prayer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that oh Allah help them establish prayers help them establish a community help them uh, outreach the, the, the message in such a manner that the people are inclined to him and help them be grateful to you so four tasks were given to mother and the son and both uh, Hajra alayhi salatu wasalam and Ismail alayhi salatu wasalam fulfilled those responsibilities and fulfilled in such a manner that they established a community out of nowhere a community that uh, has the greatest institution of monotheism and that is uh, Kaaba uh, which was built by uh, both the father and the son and uh, which of course reminded the generations to come that uh, uh, oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, can never be compromised. Ismail alayhi salatu wasalam in, in addition to establishing the house of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it also established the community and most Arabs of course uh, trace their lineage and heritage to Ismail alayhi salatu wasalam uh, even though he was uh, away from his brothers, Ishaq, who was growing up in Jerusalem and who was growing in Iraq. Uh, Ismail alayhi salatu wasalam maintained the relationship with his brothers and the family ties and, you know, and, and, and paid respect to uh, mother uh, Sarah, who was the mother of uh, Ishaq alayhi salatu wasalam. And uh, at the funeral of Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam, he joined Ishaq alayhi salatu wasalam to bury uh, him and, and, and to, and, and, and the Quran mentions that and other religious scriptures also mention that uh, the seeds of Ibrahim uh, would definitely be blessed. Now, some people buy that seeds of Ibrahim means that those who are related to Ishaq because they do not recognize Ismail alayhi salatu wasalam as uh, the legitimate here of Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam. Uh, but that is a biased opinion. And because of that biases, they also do not recognize and realize the fact that Ismail alayhi salatu wasalam was the one who as the eldest son of Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam was offered as uh, an object of sacrifice. They say it was Ishaq alayhi salatu wasalam and they even go to the extent of saying that it was in Jerusalem not in Mecca that this incident took place. But uh, the contrary to those kind of assertions the Quran believes that it was Ismail alayhi salatu wasalam and it was in Mecca in the Mina and that this kind of event took place and, uh, and, 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 and in memory of that, following the traditions, Muslims at the time of Hajj, from the time immemorial have been sacrificing animals and, and you know, to remember that event. So that is uh, something that has to be kept in mind. But the fact is that um, Ismail alayhi salatu wasalam visited uh, the burial of his father and join Ishaq alayhi salatu wasalam and uh, never had any kind of uh, ill feelings towards his brother or his father or his uh, mother, mother Sarah, as a result of what uh, many people said uh, he was done, even though other religious scriptures describe him as rebellious, but the Quran describes him as uh, truthful, as someone who struggled in his life, as someone who is is among those people who are pious and who are responsible to the task that was given to them. Aqulu qawli haza wa astaghfirullahi li wa lakum. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to our channel.